Hi everyone, welcome to part, what part is this? Part four of the Bulldog tutorial. So in this part, I think I'm gonna work on the bit around here, so these side bits, and then the next part after that will be the muzzle and the nose, and then the last part will be the neck. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So there'll be three more parts, including this part. So yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna work on these side bits here and around the eyes. So I'm just gonna zoom you in. There we go. So I think I'm going to start off with 176 um, and I think I'm going to map out the kind of darkest areas. So for example, this crease here around the side, which is in the reference picture, it's this, this crease just here, which is dark and obviously there's a little bit dark there around the eyes here. Um, so I'm just going to sort of map those little parts out roughly to start off with. And there's also some orange in this part of the face as well, so I will be adding that in shortly. So I'm just going to sort of add in kind of base layers as usual. And then I'll blend it out with a blending stamp before adding in detail and other colours on top. So yeah, that's usually just what I do with each section is just always start with a base layer, which can be quite rough and doesn't have to be perfect. It's just sort of a rough idea of where things are laying and like, the colours and things like that. And then just blend it out and go from there. And to deepen up the really dark creases, I will be probably adding in some black as well, like I did around here on the top of the head, just because it just adds, like it just darkens it up a little bit more, because I find that the pastel pencils, the browns on their own aren't dark enough, usually. So I like to add in a little bit of black as well, just to make it a little bit more darker. When working on realistic portraits, one of the most important things is to get the dark bits dark enough, which is obviously why I said I'd be using the black as well, and the light bits light enough, like create that contrast. Because that is really what makes something realistic. It's not the amount of detail necessarily, it's the contrast between the lights and darks, which really makes something come to life. And then there's also the dark bit here, but then this is going into a bit of the neck, so I'm going to just roughly kind of do this bit here, and then I can continue that when I actually do the neck part. My stomach's going to start rumbling. It's like an hour before lunch, so I'm just filming this before I have lunch. So if you can hear my stomach, I don't know if you can pick that up, it's going to be rumbling quite a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to move on to the other side and do the same. So I'm sort of going to work on both sides at the same time. I'm not going to do one side and then the other. Just so I remember what colours I used and I can just keep it consistent. this side's a lot lighter obviously where the sun is coming down probably from this angle so this side of the face is a lot lighter than the other side I'm still going to map out a little bit of these areas that are a little bit dark but I'm not going to do it obviously as dark 
So yeah, don't know where I was going with that then. So there's that bit there, and then there's also some brown down here. like that and then I think I'm gonna add in some oranges next um, when I did orange on these parts I think I used a bit of this I used some of the cream so this is the only one from the um, Stabilo Carbothello set that I used and I couldn't find the color because it it's short and I don't have a spare one so I'm not sure what color this is but just this orangey one from that set and then all the other pencils I've used for this piece are all part of the Faber-Castell set so I haven't used too many different pastels. Um, need a bit of this darker orange um, and then the cream, is this the creamy colour? Yeah, a bit of the cream. So yeah, okay I've got these three colours to start off with. So the cream one is 103 and then this orangey one is 187. There's a cat here. How did that get there? Appeared out of nowhere. Okay, so I'm gonna with I'm gonna start off with this one, the Stavilo one, and I'm gonna kind of map out some of the orangey areas using this one and then I can darken it up with some of the others and lighten it up with the cream. So that's kind of going into the neck so I'm kind of can't just leave that like very fast like that because then it goes into the neck down here and I'm not really going to be focusing on that in this part so I've kind of just roughly done that I'm not going to add more layers to that bit really and I know not all of this bit is like completely orange but I'm going to do it in a base layer of this orange because it's not too bright and then I can add other colours on top as I go Oh, my stomach, I'm starving. Okay, that's that. And then there is also a bit of orange here, so I'm just going to add in a little bit of orange around the eyes as well. I can add in a bit more later, but I'm just going to add a rough little bit in for now. And then go to the other side. So there's again this little bit of orange underneath the eye here mixed in with this brown. And then some here, some here. Um, next to this brown bit here. And then here. I'm just kind of adding it in everywhere that I see it, just being quite rough with it, not being too precise to start with. Okay, that's that. And then I think I'm going to blend that out a little bit and then I'm going to go in with some white and map out the kind of lightest parts. So I'm going to go in with my blending stamp, doesn't matter, it's got a bit of brown on it because I'm going into the brown anyway. Okay, 
I think it doesn't matter too much, much if the colours mix because it's just a base layer. Obviously I don't want it to mix too much but if it slightly mixes it doesn't matter too much at this point. that noise outside I've got some builders working on the roof in our flat and they're making an absolute racket and earlier I, I almost didn't film this tutorial because they kept drilling and stuff but they've stopped with that for now touch wood but now they're making some other racket I don't know if you can hear that in the background I'm really sorry if you can but I just need to get this part filmed I don't have any other time to do it so yeah Okay, I'm gonna go in with. Um, am I gonna pick this one? No, I'm gonna go in with the white, and it's the medium one, not the soft, which is shade one zero one. It's weird because the soft one is also shade one zero one. That's obviously the shade, but they are slightly different because this one's medium, this one's soft. So anyway, I'm gonna go in with the medium one, and on this side, yeah, I'm gonna just map out kind of the lightest areas with the white and then once I've done this I won't want to mix the colours too much once I blend the white out because you don't want all the brown to go onto the white bits for example because then the white bits will be a bit muddy looking and they won't be as white white all there and then there's also the white coming down from the like eyebrow part like that and then there is also some white here I will blend out a bit more because it's not quite as harsh here it's just very subtle so I will blend that out a bit more after but yeah and then underneath the eye here there's also some lighter and also I'll probably add some grey in this area as well because it's not super white but I'm just gonna add some white in as a base and then I can add other colours on top. That's that. Um, add in a little bit of white here. side and then on the other side there's a bit more lighter that more light on this side as I said before because of the angle that the Sun must be shining on the dog and I will blend all the white out in a bit once I've done all the white just to make make it less harsh
We're being so loud outside. Please stop. Because otherwise this audio will sound terrible. Oh, it's just typical. On the one day that I plan to film, they come and start working on the roof. They don't give us any warning. Oh, my stomach. Wow. Yeah, they don't give us any warning. They just turn up. So, that's fun. Ah, joys of living in a flat. not a rented flat but because um because like we don't own the actual building itself any building work that gets done on the outside and stuff has nothing to do with us but it, obviously we've got to be aware of it and we help kind of pay for it with everyone else in the flat but but yeah it's not like our choice we didn't arrange it to be done so we don't actually get a say in when it gets done or anything so they just kind of turn up which is a little bit annoying but to do with it, I guess. I'm just going to add white in all of this bit here, and then obviously I can add other colours on top because it's not just pure white here. But I'm starting off with the base of white. And then I'm gonna just quickly add in a little bit of cream. So obviously the cream shape, which is 103, I picked up earlier. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of cream around the outside of this orange here. Because it's kind of, it's not white here. It's kind of more of a slightly like off white. And then I'm going to go in with the blending stump, but instead of using um, this one, which has like all the brown on, I'm just going to use this one, I think, which is pretty clean, just so that I don't smudge any brown onto the white bits. So I'm just going to blend all the white areas out so they're a bit more soft. Um, and then I will go over the top after with some other colours. So then after this, it means the base layer is completely done. is the base done so as you can see it's very blended compared to the bits that I've added detail onto but, but yeah that's how it's looking at the moment so what am I gonna do I'm gonna go back in with the brown I think darken up some of the darker areas again and then I'll add a little bit of black I think oh going. yeah so I'm gonna go back in with 176 which is the brown that I used earlier I'm just going to sharpen this up actually just quickly so it's a little bit sharper and there we go obviously the sharper the pencil the more precise you can get with details and like fur strokes and stuff so at this stage I just am sharpening it so that I just get a little bit more precision there so the base layer doesn't matter if it, the pencil is blunt because I'm going to blend it out anyway I think I actually also need to add in some of that reddish brown at some point as well because it's kind of a little bit of a reddish hint around the orange kind of bits 
where probably the orange fur is like blending into the brown fur, it creates a sort of reddish tint. So I think I might add in some reddish brown after as well. I'm just going to go in with this a little bit more first. As you can see, this brown is not super, super dark, which just annoys me of the pastel pencils. So that's obviously why I'm going to add in the black. And this bit here is very dark and it kind of, the fur looks like it's kind of curving around slightly. So I'm sort of trying to add in that effect here. It's obviously where there's the creases and folds in the bulldog skin. So it kind of gives the illusion of it actually being a fold. Obviously you want it to look realistic in that sense. There's a bit of brown going on down here, not too much. A few strands. God, they're making a proper racket in the roof. They're literally, I can hear them really badly. I'll try and edit out any background noise as much as I can, but yeah, this part won't be as long as the other parts, so it shouldn't be too bad. There's also some more brown fur strokes up above this eye, so I'm just going to add those in as well. It's still, it's quite light up here though, so I don't want to completely cover it in the brown. Also here, this side, just add in some more fur strokes I think. I'm going to try not to blend out any of this anymore because I want to just start to add in the details now. The more detailed your layers are, you don't want to blend them as much because, yeah, unless you're trying to soften it slightly. But if you want it to be quite detailed and um, not sharp, but like, yeah, I guess more sharp and more precise detail, then you don't want to blend it quite so much. Here, there's the slight lines here of the brown. I'm going to use a different brown for some of this as well because I feel like it'd be a little bit softer. That's kind of just a rough bit of it. Okay, I'm going to go in with the reddish brown that I said about, which is 283. I'm going to go in with this around kind of underneath the eyes because there's a slight reddish tint underneath here. And here, just yeah, just sort of around the eye, underneath the eye, it's just a slightly more reddish look. I will add in a bit more orange to these areas as well because. 
There's a little, there's some orange strands in this area as well. sort of blends into the orange a little bit just a little bit well you must have heard that my <laughs> star was so loud then although it's not super close to the microphone I'm sure that would have picked that up that was really really loud I'll be glad to get this part done so I can have some lunch So I think that's all the kind of reddish tint that I need to add there. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the orange. I might go in with this dark orange actually and add in some of those details. So it's shade 187, which is a kind of darker orange. And this one's a lot kind of brighter than the initial orange. So I'm not going to add in too much of this. But just a little bit to brighten some of the areas of orange up. So just here there's some brighter bits. And here, although I'm not really focusing on this bit here so much, but I can add it in anyway. It's a little bit brighter around here. Just keep looking for back and forth from the reference photo, adding in bits of orange as you see fit. So, yeah, and I'm not pressing too hard on this side because it's not as bright orange as it is on the other side. This is a bit more subtle, but I still want to add in enough. It still looks even and yeah. And there's also a bit of orange above the eye here. I'm going to add that in. some of the orange strands underneath. And then the same on the other side, above the eye is some orange. Add that in as well. work. Typical. Okay, there we go. Um, underneath the eye I'm going to add a tiny bit of grey I think. So I might go in with this one which is shade 270. It's really light grey. I'm going to add in a little bit of that underneath the eye. Like that. I think we're just putting the ladder away outside the window, so hopefully that means they're leaving soon.
Okay, there we go. And then I think I'm going to add in some cream. So cream is shade 103. I'm just going to sharpen this up a little bit more. Here we go. So I'm just going to use this in some of the lighter areas to kind of blend the white into the other colours so that the white's not so separate, if that makes sense. And also under the eye, there's a few like lighter strokes, so I'll add those in. Yeah, try and blend the orange and that in together. With the white, so it just doesn't look so separate and so harsh the cream's a good way to do that because it's kind of just a bit off-white so it's an in-between colour between the two some of the fur strokes visible so that it has still soft because it's not quite as in focus as the center of the face but I want it to have some definition it's not completely out of focus this is more out of focus the further out on the face that you get in the photo so I'm just going to replicate that adding some cream around the top of the eye again just to lighten that up a little bit because it's a little bit lighter here like that and then I'm going to go onto the other side and then I will add some black in a second to darken up the darker areas because that's annoying me so that needs to get done above the eye again on this side there is some are some lighter bits so I'm just going to add in some strokes of the cream bit in, blend the brown into the white. I will also use a lighter brown as well to help blend these areas together as well. That. and there's also a bit lighter around here as well so adding some cream here
that. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go in with a lighter brown first. So I'm going to go in with this one, which is a bit lighter, and it's shade 179, which I've used quite a bit in this portrait already. Not for this part, but the portrait in general. So I'm just going to add in some brown around this area here because there are is brown here. It's just very, very subtle. I might actually blend this bit out again because it's very out of focus in the picture. So I don't want to make it look unrealistic by adding in too much focus in this area when it's not needed. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just adding in some brown and then I will get the blending slump stump and blend it out a bit. like that and then I'm going to do the same over on this side so yeah so over here add in a little bit of this light brown just to blend the two kind of browns together just pressing very very lightly not pressing hard at all And also I'm finding these strokes up here a little bit too harsh on this white bit so I'm just going to go in with the white and just sort of make those less, those first strokes less long if that makes sense, I don't know, I'm just going to kind of fluff it out a little bit, just looked a bit too harsh. There we go, cool. And then yeah, black. Black. Or I could use, mm, no, I'm going to use the black. So, yeah, just the plain black, which is shade 199. I'm just going to go in with this in some of the darkest areas. So, this crease here is very dark, for example. So, I'm just going to define that a little bit. I'm just pressing really, really lightly because if you press too hard with black, it will just look too black, really. <laughs> it just looks silly. So, I'm just sort of doing it really, really lightly. And then I'm going to add a bit of black here, pressing very, very lightly still. Just a few strokes just to darken this general bit up. And same here, just a little bit of black. I'm not going overboard because it would just look too black and it won't look brown enough. needs darkening a little bit so and then on this side there's not that much that needs darkening but just maybe a little bit underneath the eye here 
around this bit here. I'd say it just needs a little bit of black, just to deepen it up slightly. Um, and then the same with this bit. Pretty much this section done. Um, actually, I might add in just a little bit more cream strokes here just to lighten this bit up slightly. Just add in a few random little strokes. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with this section. So, this part has actually been quite short. I've not spent very long doing this part, um, but the next part should be longer because I'll be working on this nose and the muzzle, which is going to be very detailed because it's the most in focus part of the portrait. And then the final part won't be as long again because it would be the neck, which is quite out of focus and the neck there's not like, yeah, it will be quite out of focus. It'd be quite soft, there won't be as much detail. But that is what it is looking like at the moment in comparison to the reference photo. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this part and I will see you next week for the fifth part. Bye for now.